So in this video, we're going to talk about C++'s Boolean type. So it's called bool, B-O-O-L. And you can initialize it with true. You can also initialize it. And here I'll use an initializer to false. You also don't have to initialize it. And then I can set my bool here and I'll set it to true. So let's print out each of those values. Let's go ahead and compile this and run it. So I have an extraneous quote here, so that should resolve that. And then I have two string injection operators, so I'll get rid of the second one of those. Oops, I use GCC, not G++. So if I run this, you can see that check is one, finish to zero, my bool is one. And that's because the default value for true is one, the default value for false is zero, and so forth. So I can also write a function that has a Boolean return type. So here we're going to return the larger of two integers. And here, the comparison a greater than b actually returns the value true. It returns a Boolean. So I can just return the result of doing that comparison. That's sufficient. So let's call this. And I'll define some integers. We'll say a is 4, b is 10. And if a is bigger than b, We'll print A is bigger than B. And then otherwise, we'll print B is bigger than A, or A is not bigger. It doesn't mean that B is bigger because we're not checking equality. And we want to make sure we thoroughly test our code so I'm going to copy and paste this, and then we're going to change the order. We'll say that B is bigger than A, so B, B is bigger or B is not bigger than A. So let's run this. Missing a parentheses right here, so let's add that and then recompile. Ah, I copied and pasted that code, so I have two places with that error. We should be in good shape. Yeah, so A is not bigger than B, but B is bigger than A. So that's what we would expect. So let's see an example of using a Boolean variable instead of a condition. So we're going to write a loop that's going to loop until it reaches a multiple of 7 larger than 10. So we'll use ii as our loop variable. We'll have a mult of 7 boolean variable. And we'll have another boolean that's going to be bigger than 10. We'll set both of those to false. And then our loop, we're going to say while 
not mult of 7 and bigger than 10. We're going to print ii followed by a space. Then we're going to increment ii. Now we're going to do our check. If and, and to be clear, this is not the ideal way to do this loop. I'm just showing you an example of using the Boolean variables instead of the conditionals. And we'll show you a more concise way to do this in a moment. Once we've incremented i, we're going to check to see is ii mod 7 equal to 0. And if it is, mult of 7 is equal to true. If it's not, then mult of 7 has to be reset to false. And that's because each time I need to know is the current number of multiple of that or not. Now, that's a lot of code just to set mult of 7 equal to true or false. So for bigger 10, we'll just say ii is greater than 10. Because remember, that returns a, a Boolean. And so whatever the result of that comparison end will be the value of bigger 10. So you'll notice that's a much cleaner way to do it. Okay, so now let's see what we have. Okay, I think that should be good. And so notice it prints all the way until II is 14. There it stops. Okay, so let's see how we can write that a little more concisely. Still using ver uh, Boolean variables. Let's write a loop. until we reach a multiple of 5 larger than 16. So here we're going to use jj as our loop variable. And we'll say while, we'll use our finished boolean that we defined above. While it's not finished, I'm going to print jj, followed by a space. Then I'm going to increment it. And remember above, we had a lot of code to set those two variables, but there's another way I can do it using the ternary operator. So this says, I'm going to do a condition. So J modulo five is equal to zero. So there's the condition. Followed that by a question mark. Think of that as saying, okay, is this true or not? If it's true, it's going to return the result of JJ greater than 16. So then it's going to say, okay, if this is true, it's going to res return the result of this comparison, right? So that means this is true and this is true. Otherwise, this condition is not true. It's false. So in the false case, we put a colon and we put whatever we, we want to return there. And in this case, we want to set finish to false. So you can... Again, it's a condition, question mark, what to evaluate if it's true, colon, what to evaluate if it's false. So for relatively simple comparisons and so forth, that operator is good. Sometimes it's your code is clear to have a bunch of if else's, but again, doing something like this, that's a lot of work. So, And I'm able to do all of the comparisons in just one Boolean. And of course, yes, this is a demonstration of Boolean variables. You could also just put the comparison in your in your loop, but this is a demonstration of those. That's why we're doing it this way. That should complete that. Except I use J, not JJ. And so there's my result, and I'll put in a C out at the end, just so that. The output looks a little better 
And there it goes. So there's a few examples of using Booleans in C++.